in the middle of life's chaos, a daily devotional becomes a sanctuary, a quiet space where we seek solace, where we reflect and find peace in the presence of God. Daily devotionals are a vital practice for Christians seeking to deeper their relationship with God and grow spiritually. These short, focused times of reflection and prayer and scripture reading can profoundly impact your daily life. It can provide guidance and comfort and a sense of peace. So today, I just want to explore some key aspects of just having a daily devotion with God and really talk about the importance of what it does to help us find peace in God's presence. First of all, I just want to mention my name is Michelle and if this is the first time you have stopped by my channel, what you will find here is faith-based content to help you grow and mature in your own relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you come here all the time, then I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. And if you're not subscribed yet, I just want to ask you to please subscribe to this channel so this community can continue to grow and flourish. And so the word of God can grow and flourish and spread amongst his people. Amen. All right, let's get back at it. Today we're talking about how our daily devotion with the Lord just allows us to understand and really to experience the peace of God because we are in his presence. The first thing I want to talk about is scripture meditation. Okay, meditating on scripture involves reading a passage from the Bible and reflecting on it deeply, reflecting on its meaning and its application to your life. You know, this practice helps believers internalize God's word and gain insight into his will. You know, meditating on Psalms 23 can bring comfort and assurance of God's guidance and of his care. So I want to encourage you to not only read Psalms 23, but to memorize it and meditate on it daily, daily until it becomes a reality lived out in your life. Another thing daily devotion does is it helps us with uh, prayer. Prayer is simply communicating with God, but prayer is a cornerstone to our Christian life, right? It involves not only communicating with God, but it involves expressing our gratitude to him. It involves confessing our sins, repenting, and presenting our request to God so that he can answer them in a way that only he can. Listen, Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. God cares about everything we care about, and he wants us to be communicating with him daily, not only for our needs, but also just to have a relationship with him that is thriving and alive and active prayer does that for us. Another important aspect of our Christian life is just to keep a gratitude journal. Keeping a gratitude journal, it helps us focus on the blessings in our life. It helps us to foster a thankful heart. You know, by regularly recording moments of thankfulness, we can develop a positive outlook and recognize God's goodness in our everyday life. I know for me personally that when somebody asks me specifically what I'm thankful for, I'm 
ashamed to admit that sometimes I can just draw a blank. And that is crazy because I know that God has blessed me so much. Like I have so much to be thankful for. And sometimes I, I just can't recall it you know, from memory. So I just think it's important to keep a gratitude journal so that when we're having bad days, we can just open up that journal and be reminded of God's goodness. I know it helps for me anyway, and I believe that it will help you as well if you have an issue remembering how good God is. Amen. Another important aspect of our daily devotion to the Lord is just worship in praise, you know, incorporating worship through like songs and just by speaking praises to the Lord, it helps us to honor God. It helps us to cultivate a spirit of reverence, a spirit of awe for the Lord. You know, another thing is just like singing hymns or like worship songs. We can just uplift our souls and reinforce just a sense of closeness with God. I personally love worship music. I listen to worship music every single day. And when I'm in a bad mood, I definitely turn on some worship music and just sing praises to God, even when I don't feel like it. I know sometimes we can just not do things that we know we should do in our Christian life in order to stay close to the Lord, but we just don't feel like it, so we don't. But I want to encourage you to sing praise and worship to the Lord even when you don't feel like it. And sooner or later, you will feel like praising and worshiping the Lord through song because when you speak it out, you're not only thinking it, you're hearing it and saying it and something happens in your body and you begin to just feel it internally and it becomes a reality of how you are actually feeling. No, we can't live by our feelings, but feelings are definitely an indicator on what type of a mood we're in, what type of thoughts we're thinking. And so worship music can just really help you turn around a negative day. So I highly recommend that you're listening to worship music throughout the day. Another good idea is to be aware of yourself. I know that sounds crazy, but personal reflection, personal awareness, it examines our thoughts, our actions, and it helps us to experience God in new ways. It helps us to gain a perspective about life and about our situation. Like we couldn't if we just ignored it or acted like our feelings and actions don't matter to the Lord because they do. So if we're thinking wrong thoughts and we're saying wrong words and we're just bogged down by the everyday chaos and negativity of this life, our relationship with the Lord is going to be hindered in some ways because we're too focused on this world and on ourselves. And if we're not even aware of it, how in the heck are we supposed to change it? So I just want to encourage you, don't be self-absorbed and self-focused, but be aware of yourself. Are you reading scripture? Are you quoting scripture? Are you praying scripture? Are you singing worship songs? Or are you bogged down by all the negativity of everyday life and you are speaking harshly or critically or vulgarly or just in a way that doesn't reflect your relationship with God? So I just want to encourage you to be aware of that and see if there is anything in you that you need to change for the glory of God. Amen. Spending time with God daily should not be a chore. It should be something that we want to do. It should be something that we eagerly desire to do. But if you're not there, and I have been in that place many times. Listen, sometimes our Christian life can be a roller coaster. No, I don't like it. And 
No, it's not great when we're in these dark, deep valley times and we can't sense the presence of the Lord and we're just in a funk and um, God's ways, his words are just not flowing out of us. I I've been there. So I just want to encourage you to get a daily routine with the Lord and just stick to it. Stick to it to it when you feel like it when you don't feel like it when you're happy when you're not happy when you're joyful when you're sad the Lord is the one who will always be there for you so I just want to encourage you to never give up your daily meeting your daily devotion with the Lord and it will greatly and positively impact your daily life amen let's pray Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word, Lord. We thank you that your word is everything that we need, Lord. And I just pray that each one of us will just get a revelation today on how important it is to spend daily time with you, Lord. I just thank you and praise you for your word, for your patience, for your kindness, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Oh, Lord, help us to... Spend time with you every single day, Lord, so that we can just watch you work in our lives and in the lives of those around us. Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that video today. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and come back here next Wednesday because I will have new content. All right. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next week.